Here we are with our HST in Stepford Central Station. Nice. I just need to check the audio and silence my phone. Yep, okay. Audio is working. Do that, do that. Then go to here. Do that. Okay. Oh, we despawned. So while I was checking the audio, we've despawned. I said I couldn't be bothered to use the five car variant. I meant I, I uh, I'm too poor. <laughs> What's what really happened is I was gonna buy the buffer, and I couldn't decide. So now I'm still deciding. That's what's actually happened. Train cancelled. That's bad. Quite realistic though. I hate slow speed limits. I'm gonna have some H2O. If you don't know what H2O is, it's the chemical formula for water. Oh, yay, we can unleash some speed. Put some speed into your life. You've probably never heard that song. That's because I just made it up. Well done. <laughs> AWS. Okay, slow down, slow down. Train, slow down. <laughs> AWS does what an AWS does. The train now approaching platform one is the twenty one thirteen Stepford Express service to Lynn by the Sea. Yeah, I can't really do train announcements. I can do like on board announcements, but I would not want to be a station announcer. Like, if I was a guard, it would be like Welcome on board this South Western Railway service to London Waterloo, calling at Clapham Junction, Vauxhall and London Waterloo only. We'll be going into London Waterloo at about 22.13 today, and we'll be arriving at Clapham Junction at about 22.02. The next station is Clapham Junction. If you're leaving the train here, please mind the gap between the train and the platform. Make sure you have all your personal items with you when you leave the train. Thank you for travelling the South Western Railway. That's like just a simple announcement. <laughs> uh, so you guys might notice there is a poll in the chat. That's right, there is a poll in the chat. I'm going to end it and then restart it, because I think it's bugged. Oh, I can't. That's sad. <laughs> anyway, it said, uh, should I play DSSI this stream? So put in the chat whether I should play. Hang on, I can create another. Should I play... Dynamic Ship Simulator pre this stream. So we're just doing some SCR now. Some chilled out SCR. Uh, there should be another poll in the chat in a moment. 
they are. There is a poll in the chat now. Should I play Dynamic Ship, Ship Simulator 3? This stream. I've only just realised this stream has delay. Does it have delay? I don't know if it does. That would... Nah. If you go... Okay. If this doesn't have delay, then I'm just gonna, like, not know what to do. Where Where's delay? Here it is. Oh, thank God. It has delay. Okay. That's good. Has stream delay, guys. We have faith. We have something with non delay. Delay. I don't I don't make sense now. Anyway, we have stream delay, which is nice. <laughs> okay. I need some more water. This is the best content ever. Just what? Just sitting there watching someone drive a train while drink water in a video game. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why did that voice when I first passed through the station? Yeah, it was like really high pitch. So it's like. May I have your attention, please? And then, all of a sudden, it was like, the 21. 21. Like, what the hell? <laughs> uh, I think you guys can see the poll. If you would like to vote on it, you can. It just says, should I play Dynamic Ship Simulator? We have to go down to 90, unfortunately. Which is damn interesting. <laughs> Yeah, Dispatcher did not realise that I was not stopping, did he? Uh, let's read some stuff in the chat. I saw the 801 ahead, lol, oh, uh, lol. Yeah, now it's gone. Ah. <laughs> That's the exciting chat of this game, guys. Exciting? No. Nice. Okay, guys, can you get voting on that uh, poll? Because I, I want to know, do I play DSSI, I, I, yeah, I, 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 Roman numerals, free. Uh, do I play Dynamic Ship Simulator free this stream or not? Because I, I kind of want to, and I kind of don't. <laughs> so I'm going to let you guys decide. Go slow down for the speed limit. Got to slow down for the 45 now here. Yeah. There's a 30 here. Slow down for that. I feel like I would be quite a good train driver. Not going to lie. The, the thing is, the thing I hate is people say, oh, train drivers, they're only there to open the doors. They're not. They are, I would say train drivers are some of the hardest working people on the railways. Apart from the engineers, train drivers have to be one of the most hard, hard working people on the railways. Guards coming up close second. HST 2 plus 4. Nice. That was not a good stop at all. I was way too early. 
Well, not way too early, but I was kind of early. Please don't say we have to be dispatched. Oh no, we will do, won't we? Because we're on platform seven. Oh wait, no. I am so lucky. <laughs> I did not want to be dispatched because you would be late. I've given that way too much power on the acceleration there. Okay, there we are. Got it to 30. Here's Benton Depot, everyone. 377 in there uh, looks to be a 357 over there. <laughs> Nikki XE has stopped working. Yeah. Over Benton Bridge we shall go. 75 mile per hour clearance. Which is nice. Sweet! We also saw an 801. Now, the, high, the Hitachi trains, all their axles, they got a bit broken. By that, I mean they were all about to fall to pieces, I think, almost. Because they discovered cracks in the underframe of the wheels. But somehow they managed to fix it. Well, not somehow, but they did fix it. Uh, and I, I don't want to be rude, but Hitachi, make a better job of making your, like, suspension slash underframe system. <laughs> because it, it didn't work on the 800s and 801s and 802s, did it? I don't know why I blow my horn at every station we're not stopping at. It's not like there's ever going to be train spotters there. <gasps> A 458 slash zero. Uh, is that 458 slash zero? I think it is. Anyway, that train, it's a train that was the uh, one of the first models of my favourite train. The one and only class 458 slash five. My favourite train my favourite train seems to change quite a lot, but it depends on how I'm feeling. Some days I like eight hundreds, some days I like four five fives, some days I like forty threes, some days I like class nineties, some days I like four five eights, some days I, I like the other four five eight. Sometimes I like four sixties. Sometimes I like three seven eights or three eight sevens, whatever they are. So yeah, depends on how I'm feeling. It's my favourite train, which is uh, quite nice. Uh, well, I I think it's quite nice. <laughs> I believe that was um Yeah, I'm not going to try that. <laughs> uh I don't know what station that was. But <laughs> I I'm just not going to Ah, 45 mile per hour speed limit. Slow down. Okay, emergency stop. Okay, not full emergency stop, but the best braking I can do. What I would like to know is 45 miles per hour on a train, is that considered to be fast? Because I doubt it is. Because the trains up my line, they do about 40 through my local station, and then they increase to about 50. So... Maybe even 30 through my local station. So I doubt 40 would seem to be that fast, but I don't know. Oh my god. I, I fought the, um, that pink uh, terminating mark. 
I thought that was uh, to do with the HSTs, and I thought I'd missed it. Oh my god. Okay. Can we go yet? Yes, we can. Departing late in Stepford Road. Yee. Why won't my bottle close? Oh, okay, there, there. Am I still going? Yeah, I can do 75 through here, okay. In fact, I can do 125 through here. Now. Okay, so got to decrease our speed now to a hundred. Nice. Okay. Okay, so we can go back up to 125. There is, I believe, a class 331 uh, that was just in these sidings. Here we are, I believe, heading over Wester Coast Viaduct, which hasn't loaded in. No, red signal. No, spad, 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 spad. Oh, well, that's really useful. I've got to wait here for 20 seconds when the signal went. Amber and then back to red because of me. Thank you. Thank you, signal. Now 
Thank you. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Oh, why is that one... Why is that one green? If that one was red. What the hell? Here we are now going through, ah, my audio level was turned right up. Anyway, here we are now going through the one and only West Coast Tunnel. <coughs> right. Through Millcastle Racecourse on the fast. That's the answer to why we had a red signal. And here is the real answer. Wow, I was spatted by a 357. Back at West Coast. Lucky, we have two green signals. Because if we didn't... I would just like I would just quit driving express. I would just be like, yep, I'm I'm heading to waterline. The one and only HST. I cannot believe that EMR took these things out of service. Wait, uh, actually, I think EMR do EMR still have a few I know, I know they have uh, GWR castle sets, but I'm not sure if they're even still in service. I'm pretty sure they are. Like, the castle sets on GWR, I'm pretty sure that they are in, like, uh, the Plymouth area. But I am, I, I, I'm not from Plymouth. I don't have any clue about that. I would like to go and see one of the castle sets, though. Here's the HST, 2 plus 4 car stop. Perfect stop, open the doors. Beautiful. I'm assuming we can go now. Yep. Okay. We'll be calling at Lynn by the Sea only. I'll do an announcement now. In a minute. They did. Okay. Thank you. We'll let the ano we'll let the auto announcer do it. auto announcer do its stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on board this Stepford Express service. We'll be calling it Lynn by the Sea only, because this train is for Lynn by the Sea, and the next station is in fact Lynn by the Sea, if you haven't already gathered that. Because we're terminating at Lynn by the Sea, please remember to take all your personal items with you when you leave the train, and always please mind the gap. It is important for your own safety and for the safety of others around you. It is prohibited to smoke on the railways. This is on stations and trains. Please, if you are going to have a cigarette, have a cigarette outside the station. Smoking inside of a train or a station is a criminal offence. Thank you for travelling on Stepford Express. And we will be in Lynn by the Sea in around about four minutes time.
but we are currently speeding. Did not notice. We're still speeding, which I did not notice. AWS, just chill out for one minute, okay? Just like one minute without that really annoying noise. Okay, we might buy a new route and then do that. Oh, buffers do not like to be eaten, do they? Nice. Oh, wow, he's going a bit fast. <laughs> yep, bye. <laughs> oh, I feel sorry for whoever was in that Voyager. Okay. We will be exiting to menu. So we're going to go back to that. And I just need to quickly do one little thing. I cannot remember this password. For this thing that I really need to remember. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Uh, you should be able to hear me now. Um, what was happening there was the stream apparently stopped. Uh, apparently my account was signed out, but I was streaming in the first place, YouTube, so it can't have been signed out. Um... Anyway, unfortunately, due to that small thing, we're going to have to uh, move on to our next game. I do apologise for the inconvenience about the stream dropping out. I don't know what happened to it. I think it just went mental. Um, the next game we're going to be playing today is going to be Pilot Training Flight Simulator. So, we're going to be using, we're not going to use a private server, we're just going to use a public server. Because public servers are apparently more fun. And we're going to try and land at St. Barthelemy. This is something I'm definitely going to need water for. By that I mean, I need to drink some. Much better. Right, let's fly from the one and only Perth to St. Barthelemy, or should we just do a go around at St. Barthelemy? Let's fly from Perth. We've got to go for... The airline of the country that I was from, you guys probably know KLM. Obviously KLM, dude. It's Dutch. Why would it not be Dutch? 
it's got to be Dutch to pass my standards. That no, I'm only joking. But it does have to be British or Dutch, or somewhere in Europe. No, don't you. Is my internet gone? No, my internet's still here. <laughs> That's lucky. What plane? It oh, I picked a three. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, we're gonna try landing at Barthelemy in a KLM Boeing seven three seven. So here it is, spawning in now. <laughs> wow. What is my... What is my Wi-Fi speed now? I actually do wonder. <laughs> oh no, I'm scared to find out my Wi-Fi speed. I actually am physically scared to find out my Wi-Fi speed. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What? Get in the plane! Wow, pro pilot. <laughs> Hello, plane. What the? Yeah, you guys can tell I'm a pro pilot because I'm literally just hitting buttons. Bring the control console thingy. Why? We're going to have to use a different plane. Okay. Go to this gate. Okay, the next thing we can land at Barthelemy in is a flyby, uh, a flyby propeller aircraft. Let's go. Why am I speaking Italian? I don't know. Anyway, we're going to go to Barthelemy. Because why not? So, uh, let's do this. Let's go to Barthelemy. Five. Engine start. Push back. I, I have no checklist. But I do not care. <laughs> you don't need checklists when you drive. Now I'm only joking. Of course you need checklists. But I, I don't. What was, no, what was free cam again? I forgot. <laughs> okay, I forgot the buttons to go into free cam. That's all right. We're going to tail to the right today. Just because there's probably a little bit of a headwind. Which we will see once we are in the air, whether there is a headwind or not. Okay, let's... I know there's minimum taxi speeds at airports, but I'm just not going to follow that. I'm not following regulation taxi speed. This is how you do not fly a plane. Mind you, we will, do, we will try and do a good landing. I promise we will try and do a good landing. Flaps to one, as you should. Follow on to the runway. 90% throttle. 90% should be plenty to lift a Q400 off. That's what you should actually do to avoid um, 
engine damage in real life. You're meant to have 90% thrust to avoid engine damage. We do have a bit of a crosswind today. So I, I, I was wrong in saying headwind. We do have a crosswind uh, for today on this flight. To Barthelemy. <laughs> we shall go. I can see the island. What we're going to do first, we're going to do a touch and go. Then we're going to go around. And then... Yeah. <laughs> we're going to do a touch and go, go around, and then do like the hill approach so what I, I what i'm about to show you is not the well not not go around but just a touch and go uh, what i'm about to show you is not the regulation approach for saint Barthelemy airport i would do the regulation approach but i can't actually see the runway yet hang on Scratch that, I can see the runway. We're not going to put our landing gears down yet, just because we're over water. Quick trick, if there's water nearby, do not put your landing gears down, because if you have to make an emergency landing in water, you do not want your landing gears down for that. Because the only thing that will happen then is the landing gears will fall off, possibly disintegrate. Which is a lot more money than scrapping a plane, if you if you could fix it, which you probably couldn't. Flaps to two. I forgot how much of an angle this runway is. Okay, we might. We're going to put our gears down in a moment. Just going to wait one more little moment. Hang on. Okay, gears down. I don't think I've ever shown you guys what's in the Coast Guard pack, but you guys probably know. It's the boat and the two Coast Guard helicopters. Touch and go. We stalled onto the runway, that's alright. Lifting back off. Taking off very nicely. And if you're wondering why St. Barthelemy is hard to land at, because you thought that landing didn't look too challenging, well, if I can rudder sharp enough, you're about to know. <laughs> it's quite a challenging approach. Then you get to actually doing the landing and you think, we're going to hit the hill. Then you don't want to do the landing. I am way too high. I am way too high. I'm way... The abort. 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 Hang on. Yeah, abort. Yeah, so that's why it's a tricky landing. We're just going to land it. Uh, you know what? I'm going to show you the, uh, the water landing thing that they added. Because it is pretty good. And pretty realistic. Oh no, we have stalled into water. When you, I think because we stalled it was a bit like fast or like we went down in. I didn't show you any of that. I'm very sorry about that. I forgot to show you anyway. Um, we're going back to St. Barthelemy now anyway to show you the one and only water landings. So, you guys will be able to see it. There's the approach, as you can see. You have to go over that hill, and then you finally have to just land just on the runway, which is actually quite challenging. 
uh, at times. We're going to just use a generic CRJ. And we're just going to, and I'm just going to say what, and I'm just going to do what I was about to do. I show you the water landing feature after this aircraft has back taxied. Let's get some speed and I'll just take off from here. So as you can see, the plane sinks fairly quick. Uh, it might just be because the CRJ is quite a small aircraft. But it does sink pretty realistically to what it would in real life, which is quite impressive. So yeah, that's what's left of our beautiful CRJ after we ditched it in the water. So that is us done with Dynamic Ship Simulator, with uh, PTFS for tonight. On to the next game, we must go. Okay, so in the chat, I'm going to put in a game link uh, for you all. There you are. That's the Roblox link to my private server uh, on London and East. So feel free to join. Hopefully someone will join. <laughs> So, yeah, so feel free to join the uh, private server link that I've put in the chat, guys. It's right there. So, so there's actually the rain update on this uh, now. So that's really kind of uh, cool. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, let's have some water. That's good. So, welcome. Uh, let's change our sub goal. There you are, guys. There's a change on the sub goal for you all. Um, so you guys can probably hear that. I can also. And um, today we're going to go for... Abelio. Oof. So, um, there's, here's the rain update, guys, that was added, uh, a while ago. Well, not a while ago, but, like, like a week ago, maybe? It includes temporary bus stands outside of um outside of Walthamstow because the actual ones um uh flooded in real life 
We're going to use the Enviro 200 MMC. But what you may realise is... It's only single door. Now I don't have a problem with that, but I know some people who do. <laughs> so... Let's see what routes we got. 339s, obviously. 357s. Yep. W11. Not feeling that. All from Stowargo Avenue. Leightonstone 385. Nah. Right, we are probably going to do then. Well, let's have a look at what there is actually still. No, I saw something from Walthamstow. 357. Uh, where does that go? I'm assuming Whips Cross. No, Chingford Hatch. Oh, yeah, Whips Cross Hospital as well. Okay, we're going to do the 357 to Whips Cross Hospital, guys. Or should we go to Chingford Hatch? I think we should go to Chingford Hatch. We should also probably turn on some lights. Interior lighting. Front lighting, because it's raining, it's got clouds. Let's go to Walthamstow. Actually, no, we're not going to drive a Bellio. I want to show you something. That is literally my fur, my favourite Enviro 200 on the entire game. This beautiful Enviro 200 here, non-facelift dual door. Only Enviro 200 you'll get on first. When it's actually rendered and loaded in, and the suspension isn't raised, uh, you will get to see the beauty of this bus. So the first thing you will notice in its first London livery, and it says... This bus uses click desks. Nice surprise. It will tuck that out of the way. Uh, go through all the announcements here. This, bu this bus is on diversion. Please listen for further announcements. This bus will use click desks to click the driver. This bus has been held here briefly in order to help coordinate the service. There's all your announcements, but here is what I love. You've got your click desks, right? Let's say, and yes, it has all the double decker routes on this single decker bus. And it has also all the single decker routes as well. So it has every route in the game on this bus, right? So let's say, Set destination, Wanstead Park. The blinds literally actually move. Like, they, they move in game. How cool is that? This is turning into a episode of why you should play London and East. Okay, and then we open the back door. And close it. And we get an announcement. Brilliant. Right. TFL, not in service. Set. Let's go to Walthamstow. So you can see the blinds are still moving. A 
58 turn, right, okay. See, and then we just get, instead of TFL, we actually get the first London logo. Okay. Bird exit. It's number one. I'm going to take this. I'm more faithful of this being the... Yeah, this was the third exit. So where's the other one? Can't wait till I find out I took the wrong exit. <laughs> ah! Let's go to Walthamstow. Do 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 do. Let's go to Walthamstow. Oh wow! Look, I did take the right one, and we're gonna ignore the traffic light. Yay! This bus is on diversion. Please listen for further announcements. They, honestly, they should employ me for that. Real thing. This bus is on diversion. Please listen for further announcements. Yeah, they should employ me. This bus will be held here briefly to, in order, no, hang on, I messed up. This bus will be held here briefly in order to help regulate the service. And here's the real thing. See, I'm so good at this. Um, hang on, hang on. We've got our temporary bus stands. Does not say anything about um, 58, so we're just going to start here. There we are, one step park. About to get it up on the 58 now. Fifty-eight to Onestead Park. Fifty-eight to Onestead Park. And let's get going. Bus stop closed, okay. <coughs> I forgot what the next bus stop is. I'm pretty sure it's uh, South Grove. South Grove. It would say something like that. South Grove. I love the little London bus signs here. London and East Bus Simulator by LD. Oh, we're going to do the 58 and then we're going to leave our server behind. Queen's Road.
The only issue I have with this first London bus, well, there's two. The front door opens and closes way too quick for the actual Enviro 200, and nothing shows up here on the dot matrix. Like, nothing shows up on this dot matrix here. Which they did in the other buses, so I don't know on I don't know why they didn't do it here. It's a little bit odd, but The other issue I have with this bus that I've just discovered, this is a bit low. <laughs> you can't really see much. The next bus stop is Grange Park Road. I actually know the 58 as a route pretty well, even though I'm not from the same area. I'm like, I'm southwest London. The 58 is northeast. Okay, let's be here at Grange Park Road for a moment. I'm just going to turn that to do is I'm going to uh, turn up the desktop audio so you can hear the rain. So that's what the rain sounds like. Okay, let's go back to our bus. Yeah, I really love this bus. It's such a good bus.
Queen's Buckingham Road. the bus lane since this is what it's literally here for. I believe, yeah, this is Leighton Library. This is a uh, Leighton Station here. Why do I know this route so well and not even from this part of London? And yet this game has literally taught me the route. Oh no, I think we were driving with the front door open just then. Okay. Then we're arriving at Draper's Field now. Yep, there's Draper's Field. Edith Road. And then Burgess Road. Why do I know this route so well? Then we should have up here Leighton Stone High Road. Yep. Then the next bus stop will be Sedley Road. S E B L Y Road. So Sedley Road. Well, it should be the next bus stop. Uh, if it isn't, then I'm going to be very confused because that's how I remember it. Leighton Stone High Road. Then Sedley Road. Yep, Sedley Road. And then I believe Buxton School. Right? Yeah, Buxton School. And then there's something at the end of here. And then after this, it's uh, Wanstead Flats, just there. Okay. And then here's Sydney Road. And then uh, Pevensey Road, or Pevensey Road, right here. And then Big Nold Road up there. You see, I, I do know this route. Here's Big Nold Road. we go around this little thing here. And then to the bus stand. We almost crashed, okay. That's fine, that's only minor. And there we are. I'd like to thank you all very much for watching this stream. This stream is now going to be finishing. Thank you very, very, very much so. And remember, have a good day. Smash like and subscribe. Bob Bob.